Hey everybody, um, we're back with another Steam Overload. Um, this time we are playing Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Um, what you call it? The amount of games that I have yet to play on my Steam libraries actually went up since the last episode of Steam Overload. So we're up to 132 games because I bought three games during this current Steam Winter Sale. Um, this game, the only reason I own it is because of Humble Bundle. I really didn't like the first one all that much. Uh, I had it on Xbox 360, got it for like 10 bucks. This one was an indeterminate amount of money just because of humble bundleness. But yeah, we're up to about 224 games from my Steam library. 132 have never been opened. And that's the point of Steam Overload, in case you missed it the first time. So this time we are playing Alan Week's American Nightmare. Um, should be something. Not really sure what to um, expect. I haven't played the original Alan Week since... Oh god, it's been four years now that I don't think about it. Oh well. It's a very story-driven game, Alan Wake, if I recall. So, Asgard. What is... Asgard? Why does that sound so from... As that's a place. In some lore of something. It becomes hopelessly blurred. And nowhere as vividly as in... Night Spring. Well, that just looks like a ripoff of a font from another popular television show. Okay, we're in a TV. Oh, they're doing that. It's introspective. All right. Part of the conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient. Texture quality isn't bad at all, but then again, it's also pre-rendered. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. <laughs> I'll catch you eventually! Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Much as I hate pre-rendered cutscenes, um, solid texture quality. Very solid. Well done to the um, production team over at the production team that made Alan Wake. The man has been this one. Spat out from the darkness that surrounds the right, shores of our reality. Oh. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Ooh, I can play. Uh, motion blur isn't as annoying as it was in Alpha Protocol. That's always good. All right, so I guess we should pick up this flashlight with B, with B, and let's go look at stuff. With the oh yeah, the flashlight was a weapon. I forgot about that tidbit. Ha! Ooh. Possess things. <laughs> wow. Okay. Light kills possessed objects. Not just the possession of the objects, but the entire object. Oh, don't mind if I do. Ooh, it's the ghost of, um, Marty McFly? Look at his jacket. Yeah, seriously, that's a Marty McFly jacket if ever I saw one. It's gonna be like that again. Well, s seen one. Okay, so you basically have to aim down the sights of- <gasps> Duck Dynasty! Oh, jeez. This is what you get for talking bad about the gays! Oh, God, that whole dispute is so stupid. I'm out of batteries? Oh, that sucks. Because that lets me know that this flashlight can actually run out of batteries. Whoop! In another life, 
The man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But he it was in another life, though. How does he know this? Have scattered the pages he has written. Oh, we're back on this again? Okay, so this is alternate reality, Alan Wake, from the first game, is what you're telling me? Alright! Okay! The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. I think the reason I didn't like the first one so much is because I just sort of openly mocked it as I was playing it. Like, it inherent wasn't inherently a bad game, I just sort of made fun of it from these introspective narratives that kept happening. ...runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. I'm not entirely sure if this game is, um... ...taking itself seriously or not taking itself seriously. That's why I'm running. Nope, that's not run. Oh, there it is. I can't stay here now. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. All righty. Ooh, a briefcase. Oh, a weapon crate. That's what we're calling it. But yeah, I think I was a little rough on the first game when I played it. Investigate garage. Hello. Why do I need manuscript? Pa That's so stupid. That doesn't even make sense. FIFA music. Hey, it's you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whenever I hear a song from FIFA, I immediately just be like, "Ooh, look, a FIFA song." I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? Those tits. Type it page. <laughs> oh, that's so oh, fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. I, I didn't really know. It's just sort of about? asked. There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm going to deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. <laughs> what if you didn't know they were mutants? So this girl's a super, super... Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Superficial. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember, you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me. Oh, my Even God. Even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Nail gun. Oh, I thought, um... Now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. Uh, I... What? There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I didn't you skip that. She actually anything, cut off. Except the satellite, obviously. Are you gonna tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Look at that tire yeah. texture the page is that I'm forced to stare at. Reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place oh, wait, that I can walk away. the world, or shadowy serial killer monster things... But yeah, what if she was out. super superficial? Yeah. Oh, that was a weird one to say. And what if she was just super superficial? It's like, yeah, these guys are super weird. And she just didn't even know they were zombies. They're like, yeah, they're weird. We should probably kill them. Custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. I feel like this game definitely isn't taking itself seriously anymore. And that's where the I had issues with the first game is that it took itself super seriously. And I just just like ah. Oh, I need three manuscript pages. I thought I just needed to investigate. At least I hope it's not taking itself seriously cuz I'm just Where the hell am I? Three items for rewriting reality. Yeah, this game can't possibly be taking itself seriously. Oh, a TV. Let's see what's on. It looked pretty on to me. This isn't going to be good. Well, whoever's Is this on? How can you tell? By the fact you're holding it upside down. I'm sorry. I'm 
not very good with gadgets. No shit! You're holding your camera upside down. Oh, jeez. But honestly, um, this game, it's not that bad. Um, if you like storytelling narratives with a little bit of combat and things like that happening, causing enemies to spawn, then why not? Had a Modern Warfare 2 sound with... When it... Do I not have a crosshair? Okay, I've never seen a battery die that quickly before. I have valves. One thing down. I never in my life have I seen a battery die. That that's just batteries last years in in flashlights. I don't care what the hell you're doing to the flashlight; those batteries last years. Oh, great. So you actually need to go out of your way to collect these pay- I hate that. Forced fetching, I- Ugh. I mean, if you can get through the game without really- If it's possible to reasonably get through the game without doing it, then it's fine, but... Hey, look. Something I need. Let's put enemies here. They're not even explaining what these guys are. Oh, jeez. That's so weird that the flashlight's the crosshair, because it feel I don't know why, but when I aim, I feel like it shouldn't be. If that makes sense. That's two. Just one more to go. Okay, what's the difference between that battery and my other flashlight battery? And why was there a battery just strapped to the side of a truck? Uh, it's, it, it, it's an interesting game. I'm not sure if I'll play it much beyond this, whereas Alpha Protocol, I feel like I actually might actually play it. Um, a little more. This... I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting enough, but I have a shit ton of games I want to play otherwise. I've had nothing to play, I'm sure. I might play this. But, oh, let me guess. I'm gonna got... Yep. Who saw that one? Holy... The enemy tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weaker, but more numerous. Are you kidding me? They're just gonna... Oh, this is great. What do I do now? What the fuck do I... Literally? Is it... Are we... This is what we're doing? There was no way I could have conserved ammo better than that. Um... Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Oh! Good dodge, buddy. Okay, you can do dodges by pushing the run button when they swing at you. Apparently I'm out of stamina. And it's super easy to dodge, apparently. Oh, it heals me. That's great, but I, I still don't have ammo. Except for this ammo I just found. Alright, so you need to... Oh, the light goes out. That's wonderful. And flare guns are ridiculous. Why does the light go out just because you stand under it? That was just messed up. Yeah, it was. Ugh, that's just... That's just silly. So it's kind of half Resident Evil, half... Storytelling game. I, I, my first thought was immediately to say Dear Esther, but then I'm like, that is not right at all. Tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. That's everything. The man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. Oh, great. Well, you know what? Um, I don't want to recharge it. I think I'm done. You guys got my impressions of this. And that's another game that I can check off the list of games on my Steam library that I haven't tried out yet. So I don't feel as guilty. All right, so um, couple two down. Um, 130 to go. This has been Steam Overload. I've been Matt Golzer from GamersCast. You can check out uh, more over on YouTube.com slash GamersCast or, of course, at GamersCast.com. 
Uh, I should probably mention GamersCastPodcast.com. Uh, I think I'm actually going to forfeit that domain name. Um, so don't even bother going to that one. And with the domain name, I'll probably... Lo- oh, great. I have to... I'll probably lose um, the email, uh, my general purpose email address that I've been using. But um, whatever. GamersCast.com is really the only one you need to worry about. I've been Matt Goldsman. Hopefully this will fade out so I can have a nice ending. I'll catch you. Nope. Battery charged. No prob- All right. I'll catch you guys next time.